Finding the right song is hard enough, but finding the right song that is of the perfect length is nearly impossible. You spend hours combing through the libraries, counting the beats, cutting up songs and trying to make it work, but it just doesn't work. So then you repeat the process over and over and over again. But what if I told you that there is actually a way easier and faster way to do this? Regardless if you just need a 15 second song to emphasize a point that you're making in your video, or you want the same song to play throughout the entire five minute tutorial, I'm I'm going to be showing you a tool that is going to change your life forever. Step one, you're going to be needing a music library to find a really great song really quickly. So you're going to be needing some great quality. And what I'm using in this video is a platform called Licked. You may have actually heard of Licked before because they're mostly known for making commercial music, like music that you hear on the radio or on TV, available to creators to use in their videos, which is pretty wild in my opinion. But now they've also launched a subscription that will give you access to 100,000 songs that are considered to be better than average stock music. I got early access to the library so I could try out some songs, listen to a bunch of songs, and as a creator, nothing makes me more excited than some fresh, quality music. Now, what really caught my attention is the fact that you cannot just filter by mood or genre, but you can actually also filter by content type or target platform. You can use these songs on YouTube, but many of them you can actually also use on Instagram or Facebook, for example. Simply choose a song that you want to use, then add them to your basket so you can download them and then you can use them in your edits. Now, if you're wondering why you need to pay for a subscription when you can just rip off music from YouTube, the answer is copyright. If you use copyrighted music, which is almost any song on YouTube, you risk getting a copyright claim or even worse, getting a copyright strike, which could terminate your channel. But I have good news because you don't actually have to pay anything. If you use the link in my description and sign up through that link, you'll get the first 60 days for free if you use the link in my description. So go ahead down there and I'll see you in a sec. And meanwhile, licked. Thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video. Step two, open Premiere Pro and put our music track on the timeline. The latest update of Premiere Pro added a built-in feature that was before only available in Adobe Edition. Now pay attention because it's a quite hidden feature and you do wanna know about this because this is so good, it's gonna blow your mind. Trust me. First, we need to find out if you're actually using the latest version of Premiere Pro. At the time of making this video, the latest version that I'm talking about is V22.2 as the website states. Obviously, if you're watching this in the future, let's say 2023, and there is a newer version of Premiere Pro available, you will still be able to do what we are about to do. In order to check which version you're running, we're going to go to Premiere Pro, About Premiere Pro, and then as you can see, I am running version 22.2.0. In case you aren't running this version, all you need to do is open up the Creative Cloud app, click on updates and then update Premiere Pro. I cannot tell you how many people are actually running into issues because they haven't updated Premiere Pro. So if that's you, now you know. So now that Premiere Pro is up to date and you're running the latest version, buckle up because your life will never be the same after you learn about this feature. Let's go to the toolbar. And then as you can see, there is a remix tool. With the remix tool enabled, grab the edge of the music track and either drag it in or drag it out. Then make sure that you tag it as music right here and just observe the magic. I mean, what? Now, if we take a look at the timeline, you can see these little zigzags, which are the cuts that Premiere Pro made in order to make this song longer or shorter. Adding the right tracks to your video is a very powerful way to evoke emotion, but it's not everything. So you're probably going to want to watch this video right here or watch this video right here that YouTube thinks is best for you. 